Hi, this is Walt Barrett, and today we're going to visit the Bafflin Wildlife Sanctuary in Pomfret, Connecticut. This 702-acre sanctuary, adjacent to the center at Pomfret, was a working dairy farm. It can be accessed from Route 169, approximately one half a mile from the intersection with Route 101, and on Day Road. The property is designated an important bird area. Over 200 species have been observed on the property. It is managed for grassland and early successional shrubland habitat. It contains beaver ponds, extensive grasslands, a hemlock ravine, streams, and over 10 miles of walking trails with interpretive signage. Programs for all ages are offered at the center year-round. Today we are going to focus on some of the late summer blooming wildflowers and plants. Today you are going to see honeybees, bumblebees, and multicolored butterflies. You are going to see milkweed, joe pieweed, queen anne's lace, dock, thistle, purple loosestrife, forget-me-nots, yellow primrose, mullen plants, dandelions, clover, and cow vetch are all to be found in patches all over the fields. Bafflin Farm is over one square mile in area. This is only one section. We will be producing other short videos for the internet and show you the various other sections and the different things that you can see. This plant is called Queen Anne's Lace. This area is very nicely maintained by the Connecticut Audubon Society. They are really doing a great job up here. This stream that runs through the field is just teeming with young fingerling trout. Many birdhouses have been placed in the area. Some are for bluebirds, some are for swallows, and some of them are for the purple martin. This is another section of the stream with hundreds of young trout in it. They are so small that they appear to be native. This stream runs into another stream at the end of the field and it is also loaded with young trout. Many people know this plant as purse flower. It is also called jewel weed. There are many acres of these panoramic views. This is purple loosestrife, and many people consider this plant an invasive species. This butterfly is called the Painted Lady. The Painted Lady likes the nectar of the Joe Pie weed. These thistles are commonly found in the fields here. They certainly add color to the landscape. Right now there are hundreds of these milkweed pods like this one throughout the fields. Here's some more Joe Pie weed and it's mixed in with goldenrod. And more Joe Pie weed mixed in with milkweed pod. These plants are deliberately planted in order to attract the wild birds. The milkweed pod is everywhere. It is so beautiful here that it's very easy to get hooked on this place. 
On this farm, there are literally thousands of scenes like this one. This is the beautiful blossom of a forget-me-not. They bloom here by the hundreds. This is just another panoramic view with a pine grove in the background. Here we have a large bumblebee working over some purple loosestrife. We need help with this one. We have not been able to identify it yet. We think it may be a member of the ragwort or the sunflower family, but have not been able to find it. The milkweed pods are everywhere. And here we have a dandelion that's already gone to seed. I only know this as a morning glory type of vine. I'm not sure of the species. Please feel free to send us a clue. Here's another jewel weed or purse flower. This is more Joe Pie weed. The butterflies love it. The Queen Anne's lace grows in amongst the Joe Pie weed. We are still trying to identify this plant. It grows wild all over the meadow. We couldn't get to the beaver pond today. It's quite large in area, and we were losing the light and didn't have enough time anyway. This film has been presented to you by BatteryChem.biz. I'm Walt Barrett, and thank you for watching.